blindsiding the entire organization, really the entire NBA. And yet mom's been the word from LeBron James. That is until now. On the most recent episode of The Shop, LeBron addressed Magic's sudden departure. My right hand comes to me and say, Ma Magic just stepped down. And I'm like, man, get the out of my face. You <laughs> I go check my phone. I look at it. It happened. Personally, for me, I came here to be a part of the Lakers organization, having a conversation with Magic. So it was just weird for him to just be like, I'm out of here. And not even have no like, hey, Bron, kiss my I'm gone. It's not, it wasn't even that. So Nick, the morning after this news broke, remember the first thing I asked you was, what do you think LeBron's reaction was? And you said, we haven't heard from LeBron. We may not hear from LeBron. And he has been very protective about mm -hmm. what his reaction was to all this happening. What was your reaction to, to what, what LeBron had to say? Well, we had an inclination Magic didn't tell LeBron because of the way Magic conducted that press conference. Yes. The, the, the way Magic handled himself in that moment, it didn't seem like he was letting a bunch of people know. Seemed like he didn't want to let anybody know because he thought he might get talked out of it. We now know LeBron had what I think is a very natural human reaction. You got to be bleeping kidding me. Mm -hmm. And he's doing it today? We're about to play our final game of the year. We're about to finish up this season. And he didn't give... LeBron saying he didn't give me the courtesy of a heads up. Yeah. Similar now, he didn't give Jeannie Buss that courtesy either, and we criticized him for it. But then we heard some other things about maybe Jeannie and Rob Palinka talking bad about Magic behind his back, about Jeannie not empowering Magic the way yeah. that and Magic wanted to do certain things. Jeannie Bu Jeannie Buss was not going to let him do those things. So Magic deciding not to talk to her and everything, that made sense. Especially now that we have a fuller picture. LeBron did none of those things. None. And what LeBron said there I find interesting, which is one of the reasons I came to the Lakers is I had a conversation with Magic Johnson. Now, I know some people will say he was going to the Lakers no matter what. I don't believe that to be true. If, if Phil Jackson were in a position of power there still, he was not going to go there, right? We know that based on LeBron's bad relationship with Phil. I wonder that if it was just the bus family with no Magic Johnson, with his, yeah, he wanted to go to L.A., but LA's got a team with Doc Rivers and Jerry West. Would he have considered, if the Lakers didn't have Magic as the point person in the face of the franchise, a guy that LeBron has been compared to on and off the court more than any other player in league history, a guy that LeBron has enormous respect for, would LeBron have considered the Clippers? Would LeBron have considered waiting another year, punting free agency? We don't know. And so to not give him the respect of the phone call and the heads up, like that was a somewhat muted reaction from LeBron. Like, Really? You're not even going to call me and say, LeBron, I'm out? Like, I'm not going to get that courtesy? It was, I, I, it was disrespectful. There's, to me, there's no other way to it, put it. It was disrespectful. It was also cowardly. If Magic Johnson's going to say, I didn't want to talk to Jeannie Buss because I worry that she would have talked me out of it, there's, there's got to be a similar reasoning. to It's like breaking up over text. It's, yeah, sure, it's easier, but you also don't have to face anything, and you don't have to face the conversation like what you just heard LeBron say there right to your face. Right. One of the things that, that I think is missing is just a general just respect from someone that played at a high level, someone that committed their life and their family to this organization. Now, Magic... I believe LeBron would have gone to the Lakers, no matter what. I, I believe that. I believe that Magic just happened to be there. And because of LeBron's respect for the game and for the respect that the Lakers put Magic in that position. Because I can tell you, LeBron wasn't overly impressed with Magic Johnson's basketball IQ, how he was going to put the team together. He didn't go there for that. Based on the people he had been with, David Griffin recently there in Cleveland, Pat Riley and the way they do things um, there in Miami. So no. So for me, typically, and Nick, you see when we travel around, there's such just a typical, a high level of respect from professional to professional. 100%. And you just did not see this in the Magic Johnson. And to me, that's what he's guilty of. And and I think that's something that really bothers LeBron there, because when you say professional to professional, there's a great picture. You should tweet it out later today of last year when we were at the Nets game. And I went to the back to get a drink with my wife, and you were talking to JR. You're talking to JR, 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 mm -hmm. you were talking about the show, talking about his season. And LeBron comes over, and the picture of LeBron's eyes lighting up when he sees Chris, because it is, oh, someone that I am actually, like, there is a level of, yes, athlete to athlete, but there's another level of great to great where it's like we can connect on a level that I can't even connect to my friends with. 
And LeBron viewed magic that way. Yes. Like it, that was, we, we have a, a commonality that is, I don't even share with my closest friends. I don't share with my business partners because mm -hmm. we've both been there. And for you said it's like breaking up via text. No, it's like ghosting somebody. It's like, it's it, because it, he didn't even text. Yeah. He didn't even give him the heads up. Now, I know some people say, how's this different than what LeBron did to Dan Gilbert a decade ago? LeBron was a pending free agent. Everyone knew he was having a TV show where he was going to announce a decision. Mm -hmm. It's not like there was any, there was any Dan feeling. Dan Gilbert knew he wasn't coming back. And Dan Gilbert, <laughs> even if people don't want to believe that, Dan Gilbert knew he could announce that he was a free agent. He could go anywhere. It's not like there was any feeling Magic might leave after the season. That wasn't on anyone's radar. Magic might walk out the door the way he did it. It appears it wasn't even on Magic's radar until a few hours before. But you called it cowardly. I'll call it at the very least unprofessional. You have an obligation to people you make commitments to, to tell them why you are breaking a commitment. Let me ask one quick question. It, how much of that will become a little better when LeBron gets his coach, if he gets Ty Lue, which is expected to happen in the next 24 hours? How much does it sort of make that, what everything that, to take that bad taste out of it and, and now sort of everything pointing forward? The only thing gonna make this go away is a big time free agent where they can put the product on the court that the Lakers look like the Lakers. That will make the Magic Johnson thing go away. It's not looking like they're gonna hire another executive. I believe they're going to hire Ty Lu. The Lakers will be better next year, but man, they need a big, to be able to compete with these teams we're talking about, they need an Anthony Davis, they need a Kawhi. Right. They need something like, that right there will make that, that all go away. And according to all reports and what I'm hearing, LeBron and his agent, Rich Paul, have stayed out of the coaching decision entirely, have not chimed in. Now, they probably don't need to chime in as far as that everyone knows they would like it, wants, LeBron sure. would like it to be Ty Lue, but he hasn't, according to reports and what I'm hearing personally, they haven't put their finger on the scales on this. But that's another element where when LeBron, I'm sure at the end of the season thought Luke Walton's getting fired, we all thought Luke Walton's getting fired, that he and Magic would have that conversation. And then Magic goes out the door and now he has the conversation with nobody. It's just, it's not the way you do business. And I'm not surprised at all that LeBron said, you, really? Like you, he didn't even believe Randy when he told him. When Randy told him, Magic just stepped down. LeBron said, "You're messing with me before Game 82," and now he wasn't messing with him. All right, we gotta take a break. Coming up, what do the Rockets need to do to win Game Four tonight against the Warriors? That's ahead on First Things First. AT&T has dropped NFL Network from.